Ascent and the nine men in this second heat trying to chase down Curtis Garrow's top time of eight minutes, 29 seconds, 67 reps in three rounds of work, 50 pistols, 10 dumbbell hang squat cleans, and then seven devil presses, 50 pounds on the dumbbells for the men. But the one thing that jumps out when you look at these reps in totality is those 150 alternating pistols, also known as single leg squats. This is a at home kind of beefed up version of that classic CrossFit workout, Nasty Girls, which was a you know first made a name for a bunch of the top women in the sport. When we saw Nicole Carroll, we saw you know, Annie Sakamoto, Ava Torkadens thrown down with this type of workout. We beefed it up, switched the air squats to pistols, and right now we're seeing them tackle this first round of 50, and I think that's going to be the key. Now, Omar Martinez in lane two is off to a frantic pace. He's already through 30 of those 50 pistols, and Martinez came in tied for second place overall with Kyle Bernier with 18 total points, just four points back of overall leader Colton Merton. So the two of them right next to each other at the top of your screen, the top three athletes in the overall standings. Merton's your overall leader. He is in lane three, and he is trying to keep pace with Martinez, who only has a couple of pistols left, and he is now done, and he will move on to his first set of 10 dumbbell hang squat cleans at 50 pounds in each dumbbell. And they were both flying, doing all 50 of those pistols in about 55 seconds-ish. It's funny to watch their pacing on that. It almost we used to call it a pistol dance because it just looks like they're <laughs> dancing the way they're bouncing up and down between their legs. But I mean, it's. I mean, it, we saw Moutinho jump out to the early lead in the first heat. He finished around 220 for that first round, but he fell off the lead. It wasn't about winning that first round, it was about remaining consistent through rounds two and three. And I think with the proficiency that we saw with the pistols between Martinez and Mertens, I think we're going to have to keep our eyes on these two as the front runners because this overall lead and this heat could change hands. Martinez is already onto his double presses, as is Colton Mertens. Uh, Dan Polini and Street Horner just began his, and Alexander Elin, who had a great finish in the prior event to move himself up the overall standings. He's in the top five right now in this heat as well. 67 reps will signify the end of round number one, and Omar Martinez is done, and he will be back to the pistols now. 50 more repetitions of alternating one-legged squats. The number in the pink box at the top of your screen next to the athlete's name will indicate how many repetitions that athlete has completed. 201 total repetitions in this event. I mean, it, I gotta say, Sean, I'm jealous watching Martinez and Merton <laughs> do those pistols. For us rig shakers, uh, you know, those bigger athletes, those things are not easy. <laughs> A lot of ROM. A lot of range of motion there, and Martinez and Mertens are keeping that same pace that they had in the opening round. Again, Omar Martinez came in, tied for second place, four points back of Kyle Bernier. So Martinez is looking to separate himself from Bernier, and he's doing that in this heat. And he's also trying to pick up ground on Colton Mertens. So Mertens just needs to stay close to Martinez to minimize the damage. Open scoring in effect, so you are scored based on your placement. So first place gets one point, second place two points, and so on. So the lowest score at the end of this competition will win the whole thing. Something to keep your eye on in this second round and third round is the devil's presses. It looked like Martinez was struggling with those dumbbells just a little bit more than Mertens. As he kind of primed the pump to get those dumbbells overhead, he let the dumbbells swing a little bit further behind him in a more exaggerated kettlebell swing type movement. Mertens was a little bit more succinct, a little bit cleaner and smoother getting those dumbbells overhead, especially as we see fatigue pour on here. It could be the difference. It's those little things with each rep that could give, allow Mertens to kind of close the gap. Well, Mertens also took a few seconds to adjust his weight belt that he's wearing, and that allowed Omar Martinez to open up about a three-rep lead on him right now. So Martinez is through 127 of the 201 total reps. Seven devil presses for Martinez, and at the 134 rep mark, he will be done with round two. And now Mertens is starting to catch up. Mertens in lane three, top of your screen, is on his devil presses. And you can just see that Mertens... They were they went down for the burpee portion of that movement at the same exact time, but Mertens was already putting some distance at the top of the rep between the two, so he is definitely gaining ground here on the Devil's Press. While Martinez may not catch Mertens for the overall lead, he does look like he's going to separate himself from Kyle Bernier. Bernier is through 128 repetitions, so he's outside the top five in this heat right now. Martinez with his final devil's press, and he is done with round two. Mertens is 
already started his third and final set of 50 pistols. And Alexander Elon in lane five in the upper right-hand part of your screen, he has moved into the battle for first as well. He's starting to creep up on Omar Martinez for second place. Man, I love Alexander Elon's pacing strategy through some of these workouts that we've seen. He's kind of let some other athletes get out to the front, but slowly but surely he started to reel them in. Even if he doesn't get the event win, he started to put together a handful of top finishes you know, in, in a few of these workouts from some superior st uh, pacing strategies that allow him to really pour it on late in these workouts. Mertens continues to lead through 162 of the 201 repetitions at 184. He'll go back to the dumbbells for the final time for those 10 dumbbell hang squat cleans. One of the things that has been a separator, especially in this last round, Martinez is being a little bit is moving a little bit more gingerly in between the movements. It took a little bit longer for him to get to the pistols, whereas Mertens dove right in after the end of round two. Same thing for the dumbbells. Mertens obviously had the weight belt adjustment, but he got right to work. We saw Martinez kind of linger just a little bit longer. Colton Mertens is done with his 50 pistols. He adjusts his belt and now back to work on his final set of 10 dumbbell hang squat cleans. He has separated himself from Omar Martinez. Martinez tied for second place in the overall standings with Kyle Bernier, and Martinez right now is winning that battle, but he is not gaining ground on Colton Mertens, who, if this stands, and he can beat the time of 8 minutes 29 seconds of uh, Curtis Garrow, Colton Mertens is going to find himself all by himself once again in first place overall. And now seven final devil presses, so Colton Mertens is going to demolish that time. He is absolutely flying. Alexander Allen is pulling close with Martinez as well. He's, Martinez has got to hustle through these. Mertens threw 197 of the 201 reps, so only four reps remaining from him. Omar Martinez and Alexander Elin with six reps remaining each, and then Street Horner and Dan Polini are trading fourth place right now. Final rep for Mertens, and he's going to rack up an event win. So Colton Mertens at 648 just blows the doors off of Curtis Garrow's top time in the prior heat of 8.29. Omar Martinez is in at 6.57, so he'll finish second. He'll separate himself from Kyle Bernier for second place in the overall standings. Alexander Elin is in, and he continues to have a great day, too. He takes third place in the heat, third in the event, at seven minutes even. That's a huge finish for Illin, who has started the day outside of the top five, is already pushing his way in and looking like he could, you know, work his way to a potential podium uh, performance through two events today on day number two. Solodov, Stanislav Solodov is in at 728. Street Horner also finished at 720. Now Bernier is in at 732. That's going to allow Omar Martinez to put some space between the two of them. Dan Polini just finished, and that leaves Brendan Willis who is one of the taller athletes on the floor, and Darwin Perez. So Willis, on his final rep, he has done 7.51 for him. And Darwin Perez, closing out his event, he has three reps to go. And impressively enough, all of these athletes still ahead of the top time set in Heat 1 by Curtis Garrow. So even Darwin, even though Darwin is finishing last in his Heat, he still beat everyone from Heat 1. 8.08 for Darwin Perez. So final Results for heat number two. Mertens is going to take the win. The only man to go sub seven. Six minutes, 48 seconds. Omar Martinez does himself a favor with his second place finish. And then Alexander Elin, another solid finish for him as he takes third place in the heat at seven minutes flat. Your overall standings now after five events. And it's Colton Mertens by five points now over Omar Martinez. Martinez all by himself in second place. Street Horner and Alexander Elin in a three-way tie with Kyle Bernier for third, and it's Stanislav Solodov who sits in sixth place, 16 points out of first. We will have more from the trials presented by GoWad after this.